Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ English. In the news right now are coral reefs. If you have taken the Hindu class with me today, remember we were talking about how the great Nicobar Island project is once again under scanner. People are objecting that in the great Nicobar region, especially in the Galathia Bay area, from 2021 according to a recent estimate, more than 40 new varieties of flora and fauna have been discovered. Can you please tell me in the comment box which new snake species has been discovered in this region? Do let me know if you have seen that news. And we also realize, therefore, because the region is full of biodiversity, constructing a full-blown infrastructural project, a transshipment link is very debatable. But today, the coral reefs, not just from the Great Nicobar, but also they are in the news from the Andaman region. And why are they in the news? Because the government of India, understanding the importance of coral reefs, not only to ecosystem, but also to economy, has announced the inauguration of a major, a dedicated research centre that will work towards making programmes, dedicated policy to conserve and protect Indian coral reefs. Yes, because coral reefs are underwater ecosystems. They are created by colonies of coral polyops that are held together by calcium carbonate. Usually, they thrive very well in warm, shallow and clear tropical waters. They not only provide food, coastal protection, but as I said, also they have a huge ecological value for providing tourism as well as fisheries. However, Climate change and pollution have been the leading cause of not only coral bleaching, but it is consistently threatening their survival. Now, if you remember, we had discussed in one of the topics about a unique biological relationship called symbiotic relation, mutualistic relation. There we spoke about how the corals share a mutualistic relation with an algae. So the corals will provide food to the algae. Similarly, the algae also inhabit these corals. They also provide the unique distinctive color to these coral reefs. No wonder when because of climate change and too much acidification, the algae separates, the phenomena becomes coral bleaching. Quite a dangerous phenomena. Plus, there are other anthropogenic actions like bottom trawling, fishing that also keep coming into news, especially from the region regarding the Park Street. The Kacha Thivo Island. All these were in the news about coral reef. And today we are looking at which dedicated centre is the Indian government going to announce to protect coral reefs. Okay. So in the news right now is the region of Andaman. Andaman and Nicobar Island. Now looking at the announcement of the government. The Indian government says we will make a first of its own kind. National Coral Reef Research Institute in South Andaman. To lead India's coral research. Another is conservation, monitoring efforts amid rising climate threat. So even the coastal areas are on the verge of submergence. We all know that because of global warming and melting of glaciers, ice sheet, it is the coastal regions and littoral areas, islands that are facing the threat of submergence. And due to that, having more coral becomes very important because coral reefs also act as a protection against Floods, sea waves, a similar role that is played by mangroves because mangroves have also been in the news in 2025, especially in October-September period when we were talking about Sundarban as well as Pitar Kanika region in Odisha. So do remember those also. Now coming back to South Andaman, Andaman and Nicobar Islands are one of India's four biodiversity hotspots where we see a huge variety of endemic flora and fauna. And the new institute that the government has announced today is the National Coral Reef Research Institute will therefore be established in the Chidiya Tapu in South Andaman. The intention is to do proper monitoring to protect the coral reefs in India. Now, this is expected to create a state-of-the-art, dedicated facility for marine biodiversity, to make assessments, to do coral reef restoration. Apart from that, climate impact studies. Now, if you remember... Once we had also discussed in the news that how there are few countries in the world who are now making efforts at creating artificial coral islands, artificial coral reefs. They are trying to put a very spongy material, a spongy material below the surface of the 
seawater. The idea is to attract more marine population eventually to convert that into a full-scale marine colony of various organisms because today our corals are indeed under threat. If not directly because of anthropogenic action like fishing, bottom trawling, then it is because of the increase in global temperatures the world over. So therefore, this dedicated center will look at the impact of climate change on our corals because scientists are believing today that corals act as natural barriers in the coastal areas against sea storm and water. They absorb wave energy. They reduce the impact of storm on the coastal communities. Very important. And imagine the news is coming exactly at a time when we are looking about the impact created through Cyclone Ditva. So which operation has India announced? Which operation is India conducting through the Air Force, Indian Air Force? To protect and support the people of Sri Lanka from Cyclone Ditwa. Do let me know the name of that operation. We often talk about that in current affairs classes. Also let me know which two vessels from India, from Indian Navy are participating alongside in these rescue efforts. Do let me know in the comment box. It's a great way of linking and remembering current affairs. And now looking at this new facility NCRRI, it will therefore strengthen the reef system that's extremely critical for stopping controlling the risk associated with rising sea level and the warming of the sea water. Okay, and now what should be the key functions of this institute, NCRRI? The most important function is to coordinate policy on coral reef research and restoration, to restore the coral reefs which are already getting degenerated now. Then to monitor scientifically reef health across all the coastal areas in India. Then to strengthen our capacity to fight against coastal storm and increasing climate risk, ultimately to, rest to restore these coral nurseries and transplantation. Ultimately, the idea is to create an ecosystem which can be sustainable, that can adapt towards increasing incidence of climate change. And now India also has unique coral systems in Andaman, Nicobar, Lakshadweep. We have it in Gulf of Manar that was in the news very recently related to Flamingo. Can you tell me what was that dedicated facility that we spoke about in the news? Gulf of Manar. It was related to Flamingos. Then comes the Gulf of Kutch. So these are the four coral hotspots in India. Let's remember. And now if you broadly look at the you know, types of corals, types of coral reefs, then you have the fringing reefs. Okay, and you have a small diagram here that makes it quite clear to you pictorially. So you have the fringing reefs that develop along the coastline and they are separated from the shore with shallow lagoons, small bodies of water, salty water. Then comes barrier reef. You know the largest example here would be the Great Barrier Reef Australia. Yes, so these are often created far away from the shore, separated from the land by bigger and more deeper lagoons. Then you have atolls. Atolls are ring-shaped reefs that typically encircle a lagoon, as you can see here. They completely provide a round circumference, a covered fencing to a lagoon. And usually they are formed around sunken volcanic islands. And that's why we find so many of such in Lakshwadi. Then looking at patch reefs, the name patch reefs because they are very patchy. They are quite isolated reefs that grow from the ocean floor. So they look somewhat like that. So quite an important fact for GS paper 3 again, the four type of reefs. Let's remember and also do not forget about the new institute that's coming up in India. What's the agenda and overall, is there any other initiative that Indian government has taken that is dedicated to coral reef protection? Do let me know in the comment box. Your comments are welcome. Having a look at a quick question here. Consider the following statements regarding National Coral Reef Research Institute. One, it is India's first dedicated institution for coral reef research and restoration. Two, it is being established in Lakshwadeep Island under the Ministry of Earth Science. Three, this will function as the national nodal agency for coral reef monitoring and ecosystem management. And the, now you need to choose which of these options are or is valid. Let me know your answers, but more than answers, I would love an 
welcome all your comments that are relevant to gs paper 3 biodiversity conservation all the topics we spoke about all the comments that are non political that are not targeted towards an individual and yet they have upsc relevance are more than welcome and now a quick reminder here on study iq ias english we announce another opportunity that will enable your success in the upsc exam so we announce for target year 2027 a great sale opportunity that starts in the form of december batch the batch is beginning of uh, beginning on the 9th of december and what will you get if you buy this sale offer at a price of only 12999 that's a very small price given that in this sale program for target year 2027 we provide you more than 12 months more than 1 year of proper coaching okay and cover everything for you your prelims your mains give you some broad interview guidance also all gs topics news answer writing one on one mentorship available guaranteeing that you pass the upsc 2027 okay and if you want to really enroll for the sale which is a great chance indeed please use code splive whether you are in english hindi or in english medium aspirant all that is available here similarly if you are writing the exam in 2028 we have an offer that starts at 31999 and what's unique it's a almost 18 months offer that we are giving you that's more than one and a half year almost where we ensure we guarantee prelims preparation mains preparation basic interview guidance too one optional of your choice at a throw away price and csat gs1 all mains papers included essay writing answer writing included one on one mentorship test series mock test time management everything a part of this price how can you enroll use code splive the batch is beginning on december 9 so please enroll today and ensure your success in these upcoming upsc exams thank you